If you're having problems with your home button not functioning properly, more than likely it's being caused by dust, debris, possibly old hand lotion and things like that getting in behind the button. There's a very simple, very inexpensive fix. You'll need a Q-tip, some acetone polish remover, or you could use denatured alcohol. Get some of the acetone remover, pour some in the lid, have your Q-tip ready, keep your iPod at a slight angle. The reason to do this is so that liquid that gets behind the button will not travel up into the screen and end up causing damage to your screen. Also, if your iPod or iPhone is still under warranty, then don't do this because any liquid that you put on it voids the warranty. But if your warranty is expired, then you have nothing to lose by trying this. Alright, so this is my daughter's iPod and the home button began to be unresponsive. So we're going to take some of the acetone and I'm just going to put a nice big drop right there on it. I'm just going to kind of hold it at a slight angle. Put a little bit more. It's going to take a second to start getting behind that button. And the acetone dissolves the oils, lotions, dust, debris, whatever it is. So I'm going to start just slowly rolling around the edge of the home button like this. I'll reverse and go the other way also. Just back and forth. And you'll begin to see the dirt and debris coming up from the back of the button. If you have a whole lot of this, you may have to do this for a while. If your button's sticking really bad, then you probably want to do this for a while. Or do it wait maybe you know a couple hours or whatever and do it again see all this stuff coming out though and that's not coming off the front of the button that's coming out from around these edges here I actually did this last night to my daughter's iPod home button and so I know that the button was actually clean this is more stuff coming out from the bottom and I know this because when I did it last night, I got that much junk from behind her button using this method. It was still sticking just a little bit this morning and being a little bit unresponsive. But her button had actually not been working at all. We would have to plug it in uh, to the charger and then the screen would come on and she would have to swipe and start playing it that way. The button was nearly completely unresponsive. Sometimes she could hold the button down for a while and it would eventually respond, but literally she would sit there and hold that button down for like an entire minute before it would do anything. Okay, so anyways, it could take a little while for you to do it and you'll notice when I do this that that square starts to kind of twist a little bit the other way. You can just kind of go back to get it straight again. So anyways, you've gotten it, you got it cleaned off, now it works like a charm. So if you're having problems with your home button not working, then you can try this fix. But be warned, if you introduce liquid into the system, your warranty will be void. So this is more of a thing for you if you uh, don't have a warranty anymore and you don't want to pay a hundred bucks to send this thing into iPod. Why not go ahead and give it a try? But remember, less is more. Just a drop or so, put on. Don't hold it like this because the liquid that gets behind there, even though it dries up really fast because it's acetone, it could possibly go down into the screen. So just be cautious and good luck. I hope this works for you.